Who's left that there? If you told me a few months ago that I'd be comparing the AirPods Pro against the AirPods Max, I'd have laughed you out the building. Right, a £249 pair of earbuds versus a £549 pair of over-ear noise-cancelling headphones. Why on earth would anyone be making that buying comparison? However, people are asking that question in the comments section of my videos. It might just be that people are curious. Who knows? Perhaps you just want to know that if the AirPods Pro 2 are that good, can they really beat their big brother? Or maybe you are genuinely working out which one to buy. Whatever the reason for wanting to know what's better between the AirPods Pro 2 and the AirPods Max, I'm going to do my best to answer that question today. I think I should dig into the price a little bit first again because the price difference between the AirPods Pro 2 and the AirPods Max is comical. You could buy two pairs of these and have about 50 quid spare for a very nice lunch out with your loved one before you get anywhere near the price of the AirPods Max. But I do think the reason that people are so interested in this particular comparison is because the AirPods Pro 2 have been so well received by reviewers like myself. I wasn't going to review these, I'll leave a link above to that review, but I'd assumed that these were just another boring iterative update from Apple. But I was wrong, big time. These are a huge upgrade over the original AirPods Pro. The noise cancelling is much better, the transparency mode is much better, the sound is fantastic, the case is better apart from one thing which I'll cover in a moment. So the big question is, has Apple inadvertently cannibalised its first entry into the over-ear headphone market with an unexpectedly fantastic pair of earbuds? I'm going to keep this comparison super simple and look at three things. Sound, noise cancelling and convenience. We'll start with sound, and I compared the AirPods Max against the Focal Barties recently. And for the uninitiated, the Barties are a $799 pair of noise cancelling headphones. They're made by a high-end audio manufacturer from France, and they absolutely smash the AirPods Max. Which they should do, given the price, but it has taught me quite a bit about the sound these make. Previously, I've described it as being expensive for a consumer pair of headphones, and to a degree that's still true. But when you pitch these against a pair of headphones that really know what they're doing when it comes to sound, they do pale in comparison. And actually, since I've been using those Focals as a daily driver, the sound produced by the AirPods Max now feels a bit hollow, a bit too EQ'd, just not very impressive. But one thing I'm not questioning at all is the sound made by the AirPods Pro 2. These are still a relatively expensive pair of noise cancelling earbuds, I get that, but I think Apple have done enough to make the price justifiable. The original AirPods Pro weren't a bad sounding pair of earbuds at all, but they were just adequate, they just got the job done. And weirdly, Apple didn't talk a huge amount about the sound when they launched these a few months ago. They just kind of said it's got a new chip and they went on for eight ages about the noise cancelling. But trust me, the sound produced by the AirPods Pro 2 is fantastic. It's punchy, lively, exciting. The AirPods Max aren't a bad sounding pair of headphones, but these excite me more. So the winner in the battle of sound is the AirPods Pro 2. As mentioned a moment ago, Apple made a huge deal about the new noise cancelling and transparency mode capabilities of the AirPods Pro 2. If you compare these against their predecessor, the first generation AirPods have this kind of oppressive feel, and there's this audible background rumble that you don't get on these. I never noticed that originally with the AirPods Pro 1, and the noise cancelling itself is much better on these as well. The whole world goes much quieter. Transparency mode, that's great too. On these, you can hear yourself better. However, when you step outside, there is a difference between the AirPods Pro 2 and the AirPods Max. And this is all down to physics, really. It's the way these things are designed. In-ear noise cancelling earbuds will never beat over-ear noise cancelling headphones when it comes to things like dealing with wind noise. The same goes for noisy streets, busy coffee shops, airplanes, that sort of stuff. These will beat these in that regard. But it's all about compromises. I wouldn't go running in these, for instance. So although these would probably deal with the wind noise better than these during a run, I'm more likely, in fact, I'm only ever going to take my AirPods Pro 2. When it comes to transparency mode, which is when you can let the outside world in, Apple is still king in that regard. No other pair of headphones or earbuds comes close. And with these two, it's actually a tie when it comes to the transparency mode. The updates that Apple has made to these AirPods Pro 2 puts them on level pegging with the AirPods Max. So noise cancelling, these beat these when it comes to wind noise and that sort of stuff, but that's not really a fair point of comparison given how they're designed. So the AirPods Max just pipped this one if noise cancelling is an absolute essential thing for you, but it's very close. Oh, my legs.
So for me, when it comes to convenience for headphones and earbuds, there are four categories. Controls, battery life, charging method and the case. We'll start with the case, let's get that out of the way. The AirPods Max don't come with a case, they come with this. I've moaned and whinged about this loads already so I won't do it anymore in this video, but it's terrible. The good thing is you can get some very, very good third-party cases. The one that I've been using is this one from Waterfield, which is lovely. This is the new white, well, fairly new white and black version. It's handmade in San Francisco. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. It has the little flappy thing in here which makes sure the AirPods go into their low power mode. It's got lots of little compartments and zips and things. I was lucky enough for Waterfield to send me this, so thank you you guys. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out yourself. Don't get me wrong, I love the fact that Waterfield do this, and I'd buy this anyway, to be honest. Even if Apple gave us a proper case for the AirPods Max, I'd still buy one of these. So thank you, Waterfield, for making things right with things like this. But as far as Apple's concerned, I'm afraid, it's not good enough. It's a completely different story with the AirPods Pro 2, obviously. They have the charging case, which has always been one of the AirPods crowning glories. But if we move on to battery life, the AirPods Max are rated at 20 hours. Now, they are being surpassed by most new over ear noise cancelling headphones which tend to go from 30 to 40, 50, even 60 hours these days. Regardless, the AirPods Max are two years old now so we can forgive them that and 20 hours is absolutely fine. The AirPods Pro 2 give you six hours of listening time from a single charge but with this brilliant case that goes right up to 30 hours. When it comes to the charging method I'm afraid we still get lightning on both of these devices. I've moaned about this loads in the past so don't worry I won't keep doing it in this video much but these are the only pair of earbuds and headphones in this studio that don't charge via USB-C. I definitely can't forgive the AirPods Max for that, but the fact that Apple released the AirPods Pro 2 so recently and didn't change the charging to USB-C is just terrible. Now the AirPods Pro 2 do redeem themselves slightly because you can charge this case wirelessly, but with the AirPods Max there's no other way of charging these apart from that stupid lightning connector. And I'm afraid it gets worse and worse for the AirPods Max. You can't turn these things off. And trust me, as someone who uses lots of different pairs of headphones every single week, these always run out of battery compared to the rest. The other headphones I have in this room last for months because you can turn them off. And the fact that these go into a low power state when you put them in the Waterfield case or the thing that comes with them as standard makes no difference at all. Let's end on a better note. Controls, fantastic. The AirPods Max don't have any touch controls at all. What we get instead is this kind of Apple Watch-like digital crown here and another button which works for the transparency mode slash noise cancelling. When it comes to the AirPods Pro 2, these do have touch sensitive controls, but Apple has got this right as well. And that's because when you squeeze the stem to invoke the play or pause or whatever, there's an audible click, which makes it feel like you're pressing a proper button. And on the stems of these as well, you can flick your finger up and down on this little bit here to make the volume go up and down. Again, very well implemented, feels very natural, and more importantly than anything, you don't accidentally keep doing it whenever you touch the earbuds. So, controls, fantastic across both battery life great no problem at all but the airpods max lose big time when it comes to the charging method the fact you can't charge them wirelessly and they're not usb-c and the fact that you can't turn them off so they keep running out of battery now lightning aside you don't get those issues with the airpods pro 2 so when it comes to living with these things convenience wise the airpods pro 2 absolutely smash the airpods max I've got no problem buying an expensive pair of headphones if they deliver in every conceivable area. And these just don't. These, however, do. And I think for £249, given just how big an upgrade the second generation AirPods Pro are, they are fantastic value for money. And if we throw in all of the fantastic Apple ecosystem stuff, spatial audio support, Dolby Atmos, I think it makes the AirPods Pro 2 an essential accessory for iPhone users. I love mine, and they don't only compete with the AirPods Max, they knock them out of the park. Save yourself 300 quid. Buy yourself a pair of AirPods Pro 2 and thank me later. Oh, and if you've got some time, keep watching for a link to my full review of these earbuds.